was reported, are you giving these people, uh, by mentioning them and showing their photos in the, um, in the, in the L.A. Times, and showing them as, like, these Gucci-fied, like, fancy-looking white supremacists, are you legitimizing them? Yes. I think, yes, you are. But the way to delegitimize them is to play clips of them speaking. Because <laughs> they're total fucking dorks. They're dork, yeah. dorky skinheads. Here's another video from dorky skinheads. They are dorky skinheads. The mainstream media, or perhaps we should refer to them in the original German. Who can dress that? It's not just that they are leftists and cucks. It's not just that many are genuinely stupid. Indeed, one wonders if these people are people at all. Or instead, soulless golems, animated by some dark power to repeat whatever talking point John Oliver stated the night before. I don't want to say anything disparaging about this guy. And I just met him in this video. But he sits on dildos just to cry. <laughs> like that, and, I, and I'm not saying anything about his sexual proclivities. I think it's just something he does because the energy that I see from him on stage, that seems like the kind of person he is. And, and I love when he says cuck, because like, he's just projecting the shit onto people. He, the fundamental underpinnings of white supremacy are where you know, we're awesome and we're cool. But you're also saying that like the other team seems to be doing better than us because we need to band together. If you're that awesome, why do you, why do you need to push people down? Just be awesome. When, when, are, when are white people going to get their game in America? When, when does Whitey ascend to the top? When, when is Whitey, when, when is the glass ceiling for Whitey get crit cracked, right? That's what I'm waiting for. I'm getting so tired of all these Mexicans and blacks running things uh, that it's about time white people got together finally and spoke up. You know, we're a really oppressed minority, especially male, especially male whitey. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it every day. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all I can do to not get pulled over. <laughs> uh, let's watch clips number four and five. Uh, just more. There's just more. America was until this past generation, a white country, designed for ourselves and our posterity. It is our creation. It is our inheritance. And it belongs to us.